Hello everyone and welcome back to Fulford School. We're really looking forward to seeing you come back into school either on Wednesday and Thursday. This video is just to give you a little bit of a feel of what it will be like when you arrive back. Um, obviously things will be different. You'll have read the newspaper, you've been following the news, some of you have already been into school. Um, we've done quite a few changes um, around school and there'll be different ways in which you'll be taught and where you'll be allowed to go. And again, we'll tell you all about this when you come into school, but in this video, we're just going to spend a little bit of time explaining um, some of the new rules to make sure that you are safe. Um, our core values are the same um, and they were really important to us. It's really important that we do all that we can to make sure that we are following the Fulford way, doing the right thing, making sure we're cooperating and making sure that we are kind and respectful to each other. Now, some of you might be feeling lots of those words at the top of this slide um, and there might be some anxiety about you coming into school. Um, and that might be the case for some of your parents and carers as well. Um, we have done lots and lots of work to make sure that you're safe, that you feel secure and any problems that you have, any concerns that you have, we will find a solution to and we will make sure that you feel secure and happy within school. Because above all, it's really exciting. It's exciting to get back to education. It's exciting to get back and see your friends and excited to get back and see your teachers. And I can tell you that everybody in school is very much looking forward to having you back where you belong at Fulford, making sure that we do all we possibly can do to um, see you do the best you possibly can do. Um, now, we've already shared with you on the website, your parents, um, risk assessments and protocols, and there's lots and lots of words there. It's really important um, that um, people understand what they are, but also important is that we're able to have conversations and talk about things and put some flesh on the bones on top of those words in terms of what it actually means when you come back into school. So you'll get used to all of these words. These are new words um, that um, we use in all the time now in school, and that's zones and pods and bubbles. Basically, um, each year group will be in a specific part of the school. And you can see from that slide where your particular year group will be. Um, some of those um, names of classrooms, for example, like B12, um, will be unknown to Year 7, but don't you worry about that because there'll be lots of teachers on, on board and in terms of your first day back in, where we'll be able to explain to you exactly where all these rooms are. Um, we've been able to put lots of signage around so that you know that you're going to be in the right place. So, for example, um, at the beginning, at the entrance, sorry, of each building, there is um, a year group sign which will tell you which year group is to go into that building. So there's a picture there and um, it's got year nine outside the, the, the door going in. That means only year nine should be going in there. Within the classrooms, um, there is, or outside the classroom, sorry, there is a sign again saying which year group should be in that classrooms and that is connected to the colour of the new school ties which go along with that year group. Um, if you are not many be going through a door when you're inside your pod, inside um, your rooms, there's very very clear no entry signs there so please there's a no entry sign don't go there um, and within each pod there is a set of toilets again with the year group. So you'll know exactly um, if you're at the right place to go to the toilet, if you're in the right building, and if you're allowed to go into a classroom or you're not allowed to go through a door. So that'd be really clear for you. Face coverings, um, like all schools, all secondary schools in York, we've decided that it's um, it's, 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 it's safer and it's, 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 it's better that if we are outside our classrooms, um, we'll be wearing face coverings. There's no need to wear face coverings inside the classroom where you'll be with a group of people who you'll spend um, majority of your time with. That is your bubble, that is your year group. Um, so in, in classrooms, no, but outside of classrooms where you're passing by people and um, coming across a lot more people, um, you will be expected to wear your face covering. That will also be the case um, if we go into assemblies. 
Um, hygiene, hygiene, hygiene is really, really, really important. Um, and your teachers will tell you all the time. And you'll be reminded, as I'm sure your parents are reminding you at home, um, if you are going to be sneezing, if you've got any any, any slight um, sneeze or cough, that doesn't mean you've got COVID. That might mean you've just got a cold, but you catch it, you bin it, and you kill it. Um, and hand washing and hand sanitizing is really important. Every time you leave your classroom or go into a classroom, then you will be expected, you need to use a hand sanitizer. There's no problem if you want to bring hand, san hand san sanitizer from home, um, but there will be hand sanitizer all around the schools and at every opportunity as well that we can make sure that our hands are washed with soap and water for 20, for 20 um, seconds, especially um, after you visited the toilet. That's really important that we keep ourselves um, as clean as we possibly can do. And, and hygiene is really, really important within the school. There'll be cleaners in the school um, all day and they will be making sure that the toilets are nice and clean. They will be making sure that any touch points like handles are handles are going in there, the doors are nice and clean and bins will be empty. So there'll always be continuous cleaning going on. And we've got a fog machine um, and that's a big machine, um, which again, when classrooms are vacated and different pods may go into those classrooms, we make sure that we're able to use this fog machine to make sure that everything within that classroom um, is cleaned and we are not um, putting the virus on anything which may possibly be transferred to other people. So we're doing a really thorough job there in terms of making sure everything is clean. What to bring to school? Um, I won't go through that. Um, that's come from the protocols. It's really important that you have that equipment because, again, we want to really minimise um, the, the sharing of equipment um, to make sure that you've got your own your own stuff and you shouldn't be sharing any of that equipment with anybody else. Um, if you can make sure that that comes into school every day, um, that will be really, really helpful. And the classrooms will be different. There'll be no tables um, together. Um, everybody will be facing the front and your teacher will be at the front of the classroom. So the majority of the time, your teacher will be at the front of the classroom um, and will be two metres away from you. So you're going to be in a group of um, people in your year group, which we are calling the bubble, and you will be mixing with that group, but the teachers will be going from different bubbles because obviously they teach all across the different year groups. So it's really important that they keep that maximum social distance of two metres um, and we, we are they, 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 they won't be coming and close up to you and talking face to face like they normally have done. If they come to speak to you, they will be standing at your side or behind you um, and really making sure that the contact is kept to the minimum. That'll be something a little bit strange, but again, that'll be something we will get used to. Um, what will you do? Again, I will let you read that at your own sp um, space. Basically, you're following a full curriculum. We will find out if there's any gaps that you have from the work that you have been doing um, since March. Um, and you will stay within your group for the majority of the time. There will be some movement for some of the older pupils to be able to access specialist um, subjects, specialist subject rooms, um, and that will be done again with your teacher's guide. We're making sure that that is done nice and safely. Um, there's a there's, there's a quite a bit of um, information on that slide, which you can pause the video and make sure you've had a really good read of it. But as I've said, we'll go through all of this when you come into school as well. Um, try to arrive between 8.40 and 8.55 because obviously um, the site is, it's a big school but it's still quite a small site for the number of pupils we have. We've got 1,600 pupils in the school and you will arrive and uh, between 8.40 and 8.55 and go straight to your classroom and you're going to get um, a separate piece of communication um, from a group call coming through just explaining to you exactly where your tutor room is going to be and which doors that you need to go into the first time you come to school. But again, there will be lots of members of staff to guide you, so you mustn't worry about that. But try and get between 8.40 and 8.55, which is when the school starts. Again, in between that time, you'll be able to go up to your tutor room um, where a teacher will be there and um, welcoming you, but the main school will start at 8.55. 
If you do get here before 8.40, those are the places that you need to go and wait until you are ready to go into school. You can't mix with people outside of your bubble, which means you can't mix with people outside of your year group. Even if you've come on the bus with them, um, you can't then just hang around with them and have a chat. You've got to go and spend um, that time in those areas, making sure that you are only with people in your same bubble, your same year group. Um, and to get to those areas, year 7, 10, 11 and the 6th form will go through the basketball courts and years 8 and 9, they'll head to the tennis courts going by the youth centre. If you are late, um, you will go via the basketball courts, via the gate, um, and you will be met by member staff. That will, that will be our late gate. That will mean that you're late between 8.55 and 9.15. After 9.15, for whatever reason you're coming in um, after that, then you need to go to the main reception and you will be um, directed down the main corridor going through B8, out into the quad, and then you will have to find your way to your particular classroom. Try not to be late, try not to be early, try really hard to get there between 8.40 and 8.55. Um, break time. Everybody will have break time between 11.15 and 11.35 and the canteen will be open and one year group um, each day will be able to go into the canteen and buy snacks and spend their time in the canteen. That's the timetable on that slide there. Um, at, when, when you're not in the canteen you'll be in specific areas and again there's a slide a little bit later on which explain exactly which areas you're going to be in. Lunch times, there's two sittings. That was something we were going to do anyway, because you know how busy the site is. But there's two sittings, um, and you will be directed into the canteen where there will be hot food available for you um, to have your, your school lunch and set yourself up for the afternoon. And um, again, you're going out of your classroom um, into somewhere new, into somewhere communal. So you'll be wearing your face mask and you'll be using hand sanitizers when you sit down to have your lunch with the people in your bubble. And obviously you'll take your face mask out, you'll eat your lunch, you'll have um, your own set of trays, your own set of cutlery, um, and we will make sure that there is no connection between different bubbles when you are in the canteen. That's um, uh, all the information about where different year groups will be um, at break time, lunch time, um, and also when there is a wet lunch time. And again, you can stop the video and have a look and make sure that you can see where your particular bubble is going to be. Again, I'll keep on saying this, we will go over this and answer any questions about it when you come in for your first day later on this week. At home time, people will go at slightly different times um, to make sure that the bubbles aren't crossing and to get people on buses. When the bell goes, um, your teacher will um, direct you out towards the front of the school through um, the directions which are on that on that table there. It's really important that you get yourself straight onto the buses, if that's what you're doing, or you exit the school and you move away and, and, and leave the school as soon as you can because what we don't want is all of that hard work keeping everybody apart at the um, during, during the whole of the school day and then everybody mixing um, when they come out at the, at the end of the school day so it's again it's important that you move yourself away and you um, leave the site as soon as you possibly can do. Um, in terms of what's expected of you, um, it's it's going to be following the full for way. So we all understand how important it is that we, we have our excellent behaviour because it's it's right that we're respectful of other people and it's right that we give ourselves the opportunity and other people to feel safe and secure and do the best they possibly can do whilst they're at school. Um, that's ever so more important um, because obviously um, there's a different sets of rules and we all understand why they're there and you won't have the same elements of freedom um, that you have had previously. So we want to make sure that you are 
really focused on your learning and we don't want to be dealing with silly behavior issues we don't want to be following people up because they're not following our school rules because they're not wearing their uniform properly and um, because they're having little fall outs with people or being silly we want you to be really focused upon learning and upon keeping safe and upon catching up on that schooling that um, you haven't been able to do um, since the lockdown went on. Obviously, any sort of behaviour which puts people at risk, so if you think it would be funny to pretend to cough on people, anything like that, can't be tolerated, won't be tolerated, you understand why, um, and that would be really serious, and we'll be having to get in contact um, with your parents and carers um, and make sure that we are very, 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 very um, clear about what you will be able to do in school and to continue to be part of that school community. I know that you'll rise to challenge. I know that you'll follow the four foot way and um, because you do. Um, and I'm really proud of the standards of behaviour that you generally show. So make sure you do that and um, when you come in when you're coming into school. Um, there is lots and lots to remember. Things will be different. And um, just just this last 10 minutes, I'm just aware that I've gone through lots and lots of different lots of information. We will spend time going over this again. We will answer lots of questions. We're very patient. We understand some things might go wrong um, and we'll be there to make sure they go right. But what's important is that we keep things safe, secure, and you feel safe and secure. And obviously, your parents and carers feel confident that you're going to be safe and secure within school. We are really excited about having you back and um, we are really looking forward to seeing you coming to school and in terms of that quote what it is that we're doing is not expecting everything to be fantastic from day one and um, what we're expecting to do is to get a habit into what school now looks like and get you settled really quickly really into a good habit of getting to school at the right time doing the right things in the classrooms, following the right guidance, making sure that you are doing the right things and getting on with your education. This time will pass and things will go back to normal, but at this moment in time, this is what we are going to be doing to make sure that you get an education, can get to school and also be safe. So I am really looking forward, roll on Wednesday and Thursday when you come back, um, really looking forward to seeing you, really looking forward to catching up on all that you've been doing. Thank you for listening to this and we will see you very, very soon.